talk about going vegan, going plant based, changing our diet, transitioning. So one of I the, mean, I do really like the term transitioning. I'm just going to put it out there yeah. because it does sound like we're transitioning from being, I don't know, like yeah. a horrible person into being an angel or something, which is you know not what it is. No, all. or kind of like just going from a an omnivorous diet yeah. to a plant-based diet. First question: Who went vegan first? Yeah, <laughs> I did. That girl. <laughs> um. Yeah, so I went, I mean, you probably know this, but I went vegan almost three years ago. It's going to be three years in April, um, but I was vegetarian for about, I would say, almost two years prior. So, yeah, so I went vegetarian and, um, I mean, long story short, went veggie and that was really easy. I, I didn't find that complicated at all uh dropping meats was just didn't really bother me at all um i just didn't feel that much of a difference but then i feel like i also I, you were never really a keen meat no, eater no. i mean you would have it because yeah. that's what you know dad was making or whatever but yeah but you would never, never you would never have gone for like a steak when we were yeah. at the restaurant i mean i did I, of course you had, you had it but yeah. you weren't you know you weren't yeah um and so i think yeah so then and I think a lot of people can probably relate, but when you go vegetarian, often you then replace the meat with more cheese or more dairy products or more animal products in general that aren't, that isn't meat. Um, and that kind of felt like, you know, it was fine. And then for a while, but then kind of, I, you know, I felt just a bit heavy and didn't feel my best. Whereas I, when I, when I did drop the meat at first, I felt great. Um, but then, you know, having then heavily substituted with more cheese, like halloumi and, you know, things like that, that you just add in sandwiches or whatever it is. I can't remember what we used to eat at that time. But, um, you know, so then, anyway, you my when it happened was uh, we went on a, on a very cheesy uh, ski trip in March, almost three years ago. And, and at that point, I had, you know, I was very, very well aware of the kind of vegan movement and the plant-based diet and the benefits of it. And I followed many and people done online. Your research. I've done my research. I mean, I, I've been doing probably <clears throat> research and reading about nutrition, I would say, for the past... Seven years? Seven years? Yeah, yeah six, six, seven years. Um, it's just, I kind of just, I'm just really passionate about it. And I just love l learning and reading and... It's just something I do in my spare time. Like I will just read, you know, about, you know, I'll just read um, about nutrition and the latest data and research. I think the first, the like first that. book I remember you reading about nutrition and being really passionate about was Wheat Belly. Oh yes, um, that's true. And um, I couldn't tell you who wrote it, but um, I remember she you brought it I'll, home to I'll France. I'll put a link to it. But like, I was you brought it book. home to France, and and you were just saying you were yeah. just trying to convince us that oh my god, you know. I think is. it was like I had a click that we actually are going a bit off course there, but anyway, I had a click that I was I just realized realization realization that um you know what you you are what you eat and what you eat affects your body mm. and that you know there is a definite link between ailments that you feel and what you're putting in your body what you're feeding yourself um and and i think from that moment on i just became really interested in oh okay so well if gluten can do that to you you know what, what else what else is out there that i thought was totally fine or you know i mean there's nothing wrong with gluten in general like you know i don't think i'm, I'm not an anti-gluten person i just think Anyway, that's another story. Um, but you know, it just I think it clicked and I and then that from that moment on I just became really interested and passionate and I, I remember just reading, you know, constantly just in my spare time about these subjects. Mm. Um so anyway, so yeah, then I transitioned so after this heavily cheesy ski trip, um, came back feeling so, so you know, heavy and sick and not well. Um, and, and then I think that's when we, that's when What the Health came out, that's when it came out, and that's, I just watched it one day, and then literally the next day I was like, that's it, I'm done, I'm doing it, I was just like, cold turkey, wrong, 
<laughs> cold side. tofu. Cold tofu went vegan. Well, it wasn't, you know, as dramatic as of a transition as if you're just going from, you know, an omnivorous diet to being plant based. But you know, still. Um, and well, then, you, yes, because you do give up. When you were veggie, you would still have eggs and you would still have yeah, um, like dairy and dairy. Stuff like that. So, yeah. uh, but then you know, I think yeah, and I think that was kind of the not that it was part of the question, but that was probably I think cheese is probably dairy in general is the, one of the hardest things to give up because it really is truly addictive. Like it's mm. not just because it tastes good and it is generally your body. You know, there's Crazy. a reaction in your brain that happens and you are actually addicted a little bit on a on a milder level um so yeah so it took a few weeks and then once you're out of the woods then you know it's just basically like that's what you've always done and you just kind of the taste bud kind of change and anyway so then i went on for about another year and i would you know talk to family about it they it just came out i don't know if it came out as a massive shock a little bit probably at first yeah because i mean you know we uh, i was like you know being veggie is one thing going vegan is like <laughs> yeah are you mad <laughs> i mean like seriously we are french it, it is french, not yeah. happening i mean <laughs> never and then of course michael went vegan two months after you yeah and we were um we were very close. I mean, Theo, my boyfriend and I, and Tanya and Michael were very close. We call ourselves the... The Four Musketeers. The Four Musketeers. <laughs> um, and we really get along, so we do, do chat quite a lot. Um, and um, it's the first time over Christmas, it was the first time I'd heard of um, Veganuary. And um, and Theo and I, Theo was in London as well, and we were, we were on the tube, and I saw the ad for Veganuary, and... I just looked at him and I was like, you know, like, I'm just sick and tired of hearing them talk about how great it is. Um, so, you know, like, let's just prove them that we can do Veganuary and then go back to, you know, to, to our normal. Um, and Theo was like, yeah, sure, you know, let, let's do it. Um, and so, so we did, so we told Tony and Michael who were delighted and <laughs> we and didn't, we didn't do much pushing. I know, not at all. No, but you know, you talked about it and you were saying how great it was, which, mm. you know, which, which it is, it is absolutely amazing. Um, but yeah, so, so anyway, we tried and then we came back to France, um, <laughs> in the beginning of, in the beginning of January and that was just awful. I mean, we did have, we struggled so much because we live, so we live in the south of France. We lived in Toulouse, in, in, which is, um, I don't know, a medium sized city in, in the south of France. And the options are not very numerous. I mean, there, there aren't, there aren't well, that especially many. Especially when you started. I think in yeah. the past year, you've seen like a difference. When oh you were gosh, the there. increase. Yeah. And, like the, what people actually know what vegan means now. Which is yeah. Whereas you know, when massive. you when you did it, it was it was everyone just looked at me like I was completely crazy. I mean, still, if you go to France, generally they'll be mm. like, so you can have butter, you can have fish, right? Yeah. <laughs> they don't really understand it. Um, but I'm also going to answer what was my transition like to veganism mm -hmm. because I think that that's sort of what we yeah. Are there. And so we went vegan for um, for a month. Um, and so it was quite complicated at the beginning going shopping because we had to look at all of the ingredients and everything and so at the beginning I think that's what's most daunting is that you just have to go to the supermarket and you want to buy pesto but of course you don't think that actually in pesto there's there's parmesan so you can't have that and you're like oh gosh like you know what am I going to have my pasta with um, and uh, and then in everything like you know if you buy bread in the supermarket some bread have got milk in it and I was just like seriously and also it is it is one way of making you realize how much animal products are in absolutely everything like it, it is you know if you go in the supermarket in processed, all the, foods. In processed yeah. foods yes yeah. if you look at all the processed foods i mean there is in so much stuff i mean some hummus in in the supermarkets like there were maybe three different types of hummus and two types of hummus that was milk milk powder um because they want to make it more creamy or whatever um, and I was they like, don't know how to make hummus. No, because if you know, <laughs> learn from Wait, the best. I have, I have, a, I, I'm worried that it's not recording, so I need to check. I have this like worry. No, it is okay. We're 44 minutes in, so okay. <laughs> we should probably, we should probably just go. Um, um, I can't remember what I was saying. 
thing. Your transition, just yes. Yeah. So so yes. Yeah, so basically, I, I was digressing a bit. Um, but yes. Yeah, so that was a bit difficult, and then. On the 28th of January, which is our mum's birthday, we were having a dinner with uh, a lunch with with our parents. Um, Tanya wasn't there, and um, and my dad had made roast chicken, which was my absolute favorite thing. I mean, the smell of my dad's roast chicken, you know, it was just a thing. It's just amazing, and I was like, oh my god, like, and so I told Theo, it was like. We're two days, well, you know, we're not two days, we're a few days from the end of January. If you want to have chicken, let's just have chicken. You know, let's, let's just have it. Um, and so, and so my dad cut up the chicken and he, I was at the head of the table and he, he gave it to me to help myself and I looked at the chicken and I was, I was a hundred percent that I was going to have chicken. I was like, I'm going to have chicken. And I looked at the chicken and I was like, no, nope. <laughs> not having that. Um, it was uh, just as if my body was like, you don't need it and you don't want it, so just don't have it. Um, and so I didn't have chicken. Um, spoiler alert, Theo did. Um, and, <laughs> um, and yes, and then I was like, okay, I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm just going to continue till the end of the month, which was four days away. And then at the end of the month, I was like, I'm actually, I just actually don't want to go back to eating these things. But I was still not, not, there was no reason for me for doing it. It was literally just a gut feeling. I was like, I'm just going to do this um, because I don't feel like going back. But it was not for ethical reasons, not for health reasons, not for environmental reasons. It was like for no reason at all. I was just going for it. Um, and after maybe three months... Um, I was very stubborn and I kept on telling Tony and Michael, I was like, I do not want to see any footage. I do not want to read any facts uh, because I don't want to discuss myself from dairy and I don't want to discuss myself from meat. So I was really still very much in that mindset. Um, and then after these three or four months, I was like, okay, I think I'm ready to watch some documentaries and I'm ready to get... Um, some facts and maybe see a bit of footage um, and and that's when I did and I started with what the health which is which blew my mind and I watched Cowspiracy and that completely I was like I mean you know just if you watch Cowspiracy yeah. you're just like seriously I've been I've been brainwashed like my my you know, I've, I've just I mean how is this even possible um and and yes and i just i think these two i think when i watched cowspiracy it just really turned me into an ethical vegan in the night like it was just, i watched it and i was like okay that's it I'm, I'm never going back um i mean i didn't say that because i still had but i was like okay i'm doing this for the animals now um so yes and then i just i just learned a bit you know i just learned a bit more about it and i i i kept on feeling great and i I just, yeah, I just, you it was just, going, yeah. yeah, I just kept going and it wasn't, it was, it was a very weird transition, I would, I would say, because I just did it for the sake of proving Tanya wrong <laughs> and, um, and in the so end, you know, it, ended, <laughs> it ended just changing my life, uh, completely and it's the best thing that I've ever done. So, um, yeah, I think it was just, it was just great. Yes, it was a good transition. <laughs> We're yes, just gonna so, quickly, yeah, quickly so I you are the half vegan, so short answer, Michael is he went vegan two months no, not even. He went Yeah, I think two months. Two was, months, yeah. yeah, pretty much two months. So he kind of he was always eating vegetarian, you know, before trans, before I went vegan. He was always eating vegetarian at home with me anyway. So he kind of at the beginning thought, Okay, well, I'll eat vegan now at home and then when I go out I'll eat whatever I want. But then he watched What the Health um, out of his own accord and then he kind of decided that he was going to do more research and then he just basically just didn't stop. He's 
Michael is a fact. Like, yeah, he's he, a fact. He's, he's a guy. fact addict. He's very addict. clever. He just really wants to kind of get the, you know. And he, he just... remembers everything. Like, I mean, he reads an article, like a scientific article about something, and then he will remember, like, all the molecules that, like, that cause this and this in your body. And you're like, okay. <laughs> no, but he, yeah, so he kept doing lots of research and just basically just he couldn't find he wanted to find something that was going to prove at the beginning i think that that's what it was wrong, it? Yeah, yeah. It wrong but he just couldn't he just couldn't find any arguments against it he was like well there's there's like nothing i can find that is against you know veganism like if you're just if you have all the facts like why you know why wouldn't you um go plant-based anyway so long story short he did two months in and yeah still is and he's just super passionate about it and um you know loves to continue reading more research and is really just involved he's in, always he we have it. we have a group chat the three of us called vegan and um and michael is always sending us articles which is which is really cool because he keeps us on our toes <laughs> <laughs> yeah he loves he loves the new data and the new research and yeah. then and theo isn't vegan um uh he i mostly cook at home i'm i'm the cook um so um i i cook i always cook vegan obviously and i never cooked anything that wasn't vegan since i've, I've gone plant-based um so at home he has the same thing as me and he loves it and he you know he everyone everyone sometimes people ask him like isn't like do you sometimes just want to buy meat um but I have set the rule that I didn't want any animal products in my home, I mean in my fridge, um, because I feel that passionate about it and I just, I, it just really makes me feel very uncomfortable. So I was like, I just, in my fridge, I, in, well in our fridge, I just don't want animal products and he was, he really just, he could yeah. not give he's a very damn open about, about it. it. Like, he's he's very, so yeah. open about it. Yeah. Um, so he has vegan um, food at home and he loves it and he never has anything that's um that's not ve ve uh, vegan um at home but then when he is on his own so when he has lunch at work and when um and when we're in the restaurants and stuff he will have um he will, he still eats meat and dairy and um and stuff uh but he's not he's not closed completely closed to the idea of maybe one day going vegan but i think that he hasn't um, I think that it's a personal, it's a really personal mm. choice and it's a personal decision that you have to make for yourself and you have to, it has to, to come from you, it has to come from you. Yeah. and I've always told him, I never, ever, ever, ever want you to go vegan for me because if you do, then maybe one day you'll grow to resent me for it. So I was like, I just, um, I just don't want you to go vegan for me. I want you to do it because you want to do it and because it's something that, um, you're passionate about or... Yeah. Anyway, so um which is the way so, to go. Like yeah. it's you know, it has to be a personal decision and it has to feel So he like he hasn't he do. hasn't um gone vegan yet. <laughs> but I think he's not close to it. Maybe he's wiping on it. Just <laughs> gently. <laughs> gently. Um but yes, he hasn't um watched any of the documentaries that I've recommended, but he will do that when he's ready and um and maybe he won't, you know, maybe he won't go, maybe he won't go vegan and that's okay. And um, he, you know, he will do it when he's ready, if he ever is ready. Yeah. Good answer, Liz. Um, okay, we're going to do some short, rapid fire Yes, videos. Any food you don't like? Oh my god. Coriander. <laughs> coriander and oh parsley are literally our worst enemies, both of us. We have like, go coriander oh. genes, so we're just... Yeah, if you know what that tastes like, it just ugh, it just takes over. It tastes like soap. Disgusting. That's the main thing. I mean, we're very. I mean, I was a very picky yeah. child, pick picky eater when I was a child, um, and I still am on some things. And I think that it's really just I've got these mental, um, mental. What are they called? Mental blocks. Blocks um, about some 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 different types of food like onions for example i don't know why but since i was a child i've had a i've had a but she's still you like i onions? put it in everything i mean i cook i you know so i like cooking like... and i put it in everything but i still have this mental block like i do not like bananas and also uh, i do not like onions i was thinking <laughs> of bananas i cannot eat bananas that is um, one thing lizzie has never been able to eat even as a baby when tanya was a baby mum used to make her mashed bananas 
um, and I like the first time the few few times mum tried with me as a baby I would just spit them all out that's something I cannot eat but yeah. I love them in when we were in India yeah. the very small bananas I love them I, I can eat but they are so them. different but yeah. uh, the big bananas here, I can't. But since I've come back from India, sorry, this is a yes. bit long. But since I've come back from India, yeah, you've actually become I'm really actually, good. Yeah, we've been sneaking in banana because every time we make smoothies, Lizzie's like, no banana. And we're like, <laughs> but you can't make a smoothie. Well, you can make a smoothie with no. Bananas, I always, I have a smoothie every day, anyway, and I didn't put and bananas in it. We've been slowly putting really ripe bananas, like a little bit at a time, and Lizzie's like, you're doing really well with it. Yeah, because I think that I got used to because. Small bananas in India, they, they still have the banana taste, so I don't know what it is, what the difference is between the but two. But they are, yeah. They are, but anyway, the, the taste, are I, I got used to the, 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 banana, the taste of banana, which is yeah. fun. Anyway, <laughs> long story. What long. is, okay, next question. What's your favourite meal slash food? Okay, mine has always been lasagna since forever. It's my, like, it was always my birthday meal that my dad would make up me and... Yeah, and I think, I mean, I don't know. I just, it is still one of my favorite comfort food. But then, I just, I don't know. I mean, you so make the best lasagna. I mean, Tanya's lasagna recipe on her blog is a must make. I mean, it seriously, is so it is so good. If I might say so myself. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is really good. Please, guys, make it. <laughs> Do. It is good. What is, what's yours, do you think? If we're keeping it short, because I can list you a thousand things that I love, but... I mean, I don't know, like, I am... I love the bad food, so I love... I do Is love... Is there bad food? Well, not... Pizza is not a health food. I mean, no. I wouldn't go to pizza to, you know, if I needed to get healthy. No, but... but I love... I love pizza. I love vegan pizza. I don't... I love vegan pizza with vegan cheese that we get here. These ones are really mm -hmm. good. And I love your lasagna. I really do because it's such a good comfort food and it's something that, you know, you just you just have like a massive slice and you're like, mm, I'm just gonna have it all. Um, I'm just gonna stuff my face. Um, but then I don't really know, like, I'm, I don't know. Oh, I yes, I, I do know what I love, which is something actually Theo came up with, which is very good. I love the Barilla vegan pesto very creamy I know I should make my own pesto but I don't um and I, I love that pesto it's so creamy and we make the we make spaghetti and while the spaghetti is cooking I add some peas in there and then I also cook some smoked tofu we have a brand of smoked tofu in France that I love and I can't find here in the UK which I'm very sad about so I cut them in lardons because I used to love lardons so I cut them in lardon shape and I fry them and they're nice and crispy and then I add the pesto and I add the lardons in there and that is something that I really like and is also a really comfort food for me and you know you just want to eat that mm -hmm. on like in a bowl on the sofa and watch a movie and have candles and it's just yeah just a nice yeah. oh we should make that yeah it's really good um okay I think we are almost there are you both keen cooks yes, yes. I mean, I mean, our dad yeah. is, is the best, best cook. I mean, he yeah, and he is such a good cook. Yeah, he's he been cooking, cook. and he's really just you know given that to us. He's he he is an amazing cook. He's become so good at cooking, cooking vegan, vegan, vegan food. He, he's become amazing. At the beginning, it was a bit difficult, and now he's just like he makes the most amazing curries, yeah. and he makes them the most amazing meatless bowls mm -hmm. um, ever. Um, they're so good. These bowls, we have mm -hmm. to make them. Um, and yes, so I can't yeah. actually remember what I was saying. Yes, are we keen cooks? Mm -hmm. um, yeah. But Tanya We're... and Michael, you guys are amazing in the kitchen. I mean, <laughs> Tanya and Michael will just open the fridge, open the cupboard, and they will throw something together that will be amazing, and they know that they should put this ingredient with this this sort of, this type of seasoning and stuff, and I'm just like, wow. <laughs> I'm still not at that level. I love to cook, but I'm still not quite there. Um, but you guys are really, yeah, you guys are really yeah. good cooks. Yeah, I think, um, well, I mean, but I, you I also have a very nice, nice but we're, we're good. We, we enjoy cooking, we love food. We enjoy experimenting. We we enjoy just making food together. Michael is also really good. I would argue that Michael is better than me. Um, 
I don't want to upset you, but I think yeah. he is. I think he is a very good cook. He loves it. Um, and a lot of the recipes, I mean, you know, on my story, a lot of the time Michael is cooking. Um, <laughs> but yeah, well, we both cook equally. I think fifty fifty. But yeah, he loves to cook. So anyway, we just we kind of feed off each other and. But yeah. also, I do think that without wanting to make any excuses for myself, I think that a good kitchen is so important if you like to cook and I think that I've my our previous kitchen was just a bit crap and I only had two hobs um mm. and it was extremely tight so I couldn't put like two big saucepans and it was just it was a bit complicated to cook and I didn't have a lot of room to cook mm. on the on the surfaces. Um so I think that that does in a way sort of um it does on its pie. Yeah. yeah. And you yeah. just you know you just well, you don't, don't really do, want to yeah, you're just I mean, we do less make... inclined to exactly. go experiment and do big recipes yeah. and yeah. Okay, I think we should wrap it up. <laughs> Wait, is there no I think Oh yes, I know I know a question. Oh, like yes. I'd like to know how to transition into veganism despite people around you not uh supporting your decision to yes, do so chelsea asked this in a comment and we thought we would definitely answer this so i think i mean that's a very personal i don't know it depends on your experience and everything but i truly think that as anything in life if that's what you want to do and you are doing it for the right reasons and you are doing it well and you and that's what you want to do um then i think you know the right reasons being different to everyone of course but yes yeah, but and i think that there's no i just you know people it's hard i think i think that's probably the hardest thing when you first go vegan is the Social acceptance aspect. of other people around yeah. you people have a hard time understanding and also people get really um on the defensive about it because eating you know animal products is often linked to just you know just is quite an emotional there's a lot of emotional ties to it and traditions and and also people by the simple act of you going vegan people kind of feel like you're judging them you're judging <clears throat> them and you're yeah so when you, you know you just couldn't care less what they do and you're not asking them to change what they're eating and the way they're doing things but it often makes people feel uncomfortable um and that's we've dealt we've definitely ex both experienced that in our circle of friends and family um and i just think that you just need to lead with kindness and show lead by example and you know do what you think is right and do what you want to do and you know just people will come along and just change their mind well they, they won't but at the end of the day it's such a personal decision it's not you know it's up people to you don't have, you like, do people, whatever you want exactly but. people don't have you know you make your own decisions you have but it, is, it, 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 is, it, makes, it makes it difficult for a lot of people it is kind of a you know especially if it's a, your partner that's really against it or you know family member or whatever it is and i and i understand that that can just put a break on it and just makes you stop and think well you know do i want to bother with upsetting this person whatever it is but i think down to it is having sitting down with the person having an open conversation about it communication communication again <laughs> and just kind of explaining and if they want to know the facts and the science behind it because maybe they're worried or maybe they don't understand why or how maybe that will help maybe showing them a documentary or you know sharing food with them and showing them how easy and delicious it can be um i think there's many ways to kind of you know openly share and kind of hoping that the you know the other person's going to you know come around to it but and some people don't some no, people don't come around to yeah. it but there's no it you know people i think that people in our society um picture veganism and vegans as being their own kind and sort of being their own little group um, but it won't make you, you know, it won't make you any different. You will still be the same you that you are. And maybe that's what they're still, worried about. Yeah. And, you know, they're going to be like, if you're going to be judging me when I'm eating meat, yeah. you're going to be judging me when you're I'm the eating same dairy, person. You just... will be the same person. Yeah. Um, but you will be 
following what your heart is telling you to do or your gut or you know for whichever reason you're doing it again but um but i think that you shouldn't I mean, you know, if you really want to do it, if you really want to make it happen, I think, as Tanya said, have a conversation with the person and say, listen, I'm not doing this against you. This, I'm not I'm not making this decision because I'm judging you. I'm making this decision because it is right for me right now. Um, and I'm sorry that uh, it upsets you or that you're not supporting me, uh, but this is something I'm going to go through with. And I'm very happy to talk to you about it yeah. anytime you want. And if you have any questions, you can throw them my way and I'll make my best to to answer them. Yeah. Uh, but at I the end of the just... day, I think that you are your own person and that you will make the decision that you want you want to. Yeah. Um, but also just, you know, communication again and just being open minded and kind about it. Yeah, no, always, always. And answering questions and you know and i think at the beginning you're going to have a lot of questions and i think at the beginning can make you feel a bit uncomfortable so that's why i always say to people if you decide to go vegan just do your research educate yourself because it will empower you it will because you will no matter why or how you're doing it you will have doubts because we live in a non-vegan world and so you're going against the grain and you're going to stop many times and wonder why am i doing this you know what this is this is not the easy way you know why am i going against what everyone else is doing but just remind but yourself find your why which find is your why something, yes something that tanya has made an amazing guide to transition into a vegan diet this is my manager <laughs> <laughs> um it is really a great tool and in there Thank she you. says that you have to find your why which is so important because yeah. if you're going into veganism not really knowing why you're doing it or just doing it um and you're not you don't have a strong understanding of the reason why you know why you want to stick to it <laughs> at the first hurdle you're going to be like well yeah you know, i can't do it i'm gonna have cheese i can't do it i'm gonna have a steak well not that you know that there's nothing wrong with that there's no, nothing no, wrong no. with like you of know course. there's no failure it's just you know but it will help you to keep going and and just yeah and just educate yourself about the subject and educate yourself about the nutrition aspect of it because there's many ways of being vegan but i truly think that if you do want to do it then do it right like don't live off oreos and yeah. you know slices there's of bread also and a butter. great um um earthling ed's book um, oh, yes. called, um, I don't know how many questions there are, but all the basically all the questions that you will get as a vegan that people ask you like, um, but we are, you know, humans are omnivorous, or yeah, um, aren't you gonna, you know, where do you get your protein, yeah. or all these all these kinds of questions. If we all go vegans, are the cows going to take over the world? Yeah. <laughs> um, anyway, it's quite a, it's a really good book actually when you're transitioning because it is a lot of those questions that will come up in dinner parties and they will come up when your friends and family are asking you about these things and and it's a good way to kind of um see some facts and, a and he's good really, way he's, that it's, yeah. yeah he's really good i'll link to it good. below it's it's um it's a free book that you can download yeah um so yeah i hope that kind of helps and makes sense um this is a very long video i don't know maybe we've got to make it in two parts because I don't really want to I told you, you I talked a lot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe I'll do two parts, but um, I hope this was helpful. Hopefully, you know, if you like it. I hope you it, enjoyed spending time with us <laughs> because we did. Um, hopefully you liked it and we can do it again. And uh, yeah, if you have any other questions, let us know in the comments. We'll make sure to answer them. Um, and also, if you want us to make um, a relationship vlog, yes. Yone, please do want us. <laughs> and ask your questions. <laughs> um, ask the questions below or on Instagram as well. I think Tanya will do that in the next, well, when she posts the video. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, we'll, yeah, if, if, that, if that's interesting to you. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Thank you. Um, subscribe and like this video to support this channel. I'm going to try and be more. She is going to because I'm going to be here for the next few months. So yeah. she is going to get better <laughs> at it. I can promise. Uh, you. Yeah, I just need to bite the bullet and do it and just stick with it and just, yeah, I need to make a plan. Yeah. Uh, but I will be back with some videos. 
if you have any requests please let me know in the comments below as well um, also we were thinking of maybe doing um some recipe videos so would you like those to be on youtube or would you prefer them to be on igtv for example mm -hmm. is that um something that you would be interested in or not and um yeah any other ideas for this beautiful girl for any youtube videos let us know <laughs> i think one of my next ones is going to be about natural beauty and the products i've been using recently because there's a few that i really love and i wanted to share with you so we'll get to that well thank you so much thank we'll you. See you soon. bye <laughs> oh that was oh, good Liz. that was so good i'm such a natural vlogger <laughs> <laughs>